Michael Proctor prepared to kick off for the tie. Joey Perry, number 24. Terrence Strickland, number six. Deep for the Greenway. Proctor likes to boot him through the end zone. This is a high kick fielded at the three by Terrence Strickland. Strickland breaks it up the middle. It's been a problem area for the Tide special teams. Kick coverage, and that time he breaks free to about the 31-yard line. Tommy Johnson runs him out of bounds. Second down and 10. This is the quickest and fiercest defense he has ever faced, bar none. Back to pass for the second straight down, and it's complete to the outside. That's Jerry Erson who goes for a first down, and he's just a little bit pumped up. Third down and seven. The ball's on the 45. Sean Meadows at quarterback. And the draw play. Chance Miller breaks free. Gets close to the first down, and Tulane thinks they have it. We'll have to check the mark. Chip Clark, the punter, a good punter, and they say he outkicks his coverage most of the time, about 43 yards of punt, and that's a booming kick. David Palmer calls for the fair catch and fields it out of bounds, so the Tide's first drive will start at about the 10, oh, possibly the 9. Second down and 9, they gave Lassick a yard, and here goes Derrick again. That seems to be the pattern for Alabama. If you've seen him through the first part of the season, they like to run those backs two plays at a time. Third down. One yard. Three in a row for Derek Lassick. He fights for the first down and he died in business. Second down and ten. And there's the workhorse. Derek Lassick finds a huge hole, breaks in the open, and gets wrestled down around the 46-yard line. Lassick, big gainer. Great blocking by the Todd offensive line. 20,000 Alabama fans have made the trek to the Crescent City to watch this football game. That's the reason they have such a huge crowd. Of course, they would like to return it for the Sugar Bowl, but that's a long ways away. Barker tries to connect with Kevin Lee, and it's broken up by Ruffin Hamilton. I remember that guy from Tuscaloosa a year ago. Second down and 10. Meadows calling along. Yeah, that's a broken play. Usually what happens when you have a broken play against Alabama, it goes for a loss. Wimbley in motion. Pitch back to Lassick. Finds an opening. Could go all the way. Derek Lassick has one man to beat. He cuts back, and he finally gets wrestled out around the 10-yard line. I think if Lassick had forged ahead, he might have scored. Nevertheless, big game for number 25. Closing in on the nine-minute mark of the first quarter, and the Tide closing in on a score. Uh-oh, there's a broken play. Barker has nowhere to go, and he gets wrestled down by Reggie Davis, the nose guard for Tulane. Big fella. There's Reggie, built like a nose guard, without question. Barker back to pass, second and 16, and he gets thrown to the turf. Serious sack by Marco Milano. Jeff Wall, the holder. That's the position he's held for the last three years. Did it for Philip Doyle and did a marvelous job. Rarely ever plus a hole. Proctor. Nails it, splitting the uprights, and Alabama on the board, three to nothing. That was a 41-yard effort. And Alabama coming in with a blitz, and Lemansky Hall trails Terrence Strickland, who breaks up close to the first down marker. Fourth and inches, the ball on the 45. And they're going for it. Chance Miller gets hit right at the line. Did he get it? I tell you, if he got it, it will be a favorable mark from the official. It's going to be close. Antonio London in the way along with Antonio Langham, but there's the official marking first down. There you see the time, five minutes to play. Sean Meadows calling signals, play fake. And overthrows his man, Terrence Strickland. Flag on the play. I think they caught Alabama with a personal foul. London is very quick, and he was already in the hole. Third down and six. Meadows lobs one up, and it's intercepted. The pick, Antonio Langham bringing it back down the sideline. He's up around the 40 and knocked out of bounds. Antonio Langham, another interception for the Crimson Tide. That's four on the season for number 43. Just an awful attempt. Whether the injury had anything to do with it, I'm not sure. Jay Barker back to pass. 
again pressured up the middle and sacked. That's Michael Batiste. He has four sacks now in the season. Meadows back to pass. Has time and connects. First down, Will Urson. His 41st catch of the season. Right now, the Tide has plenty of uh, worries of their own. Up only 3-0. Third down and five. Meadows again pressured and again throws it into the turf looking for Jerry Urson. Second down and six. And again, the same play. Pitch back to Lassick. He gets up close to the first down. Gains four more. And there's the handoff to Sherman Williams, who keeps the drive alive. First down, Alabama. So if you're Tulane, you're the defensive unit, you've got to feel pretty good looking back on what you've done the first 17 minutes of this game. Barker back to pass, setting up the screen. Sherman Williams, a nice grab. Plenty of room to run. And he finally gets brought down around the 27-yard line. Nice grab. Even better running by Sherman Williams. And the blitz. Barker finds Dabo Sweeney. Very close to the first down. Looks like he's going to be about two yards short. That time Tulane coming with the blitz. Proctor attempting the field goal. Misses it wide left. He pulled it to the left. Third on the all-time sack list in Alabama history. Going deep, Meadows looking for his main man, Corey Broadnax. I thought that was Urson. That's Broadnax, broken up by Donley and Gaston. Chip Cook will put again for Tulane. They're one out of six third down conversions. David Palmer fields it at about the 15. He stops, hesitates, and uh, tries to wiggle free, but Tulane says, no way. Tulane has made a lot of changes on their putt coverage team, and Chip Clark does a great job of booming them out, and they're covering them tonight. 54 yards on that last punt. Martin Houston has a big haul. Showing a little bit of speed, breaks the tackle. And gets brought down from behind, but not without a struggle. Cedric Thomas finally brings Martin Houston down around the 45. 45 yards on the run and Houston on the sidelines. Les Fowler looking at him. Barker completed to Buskey, the big tight end. Goes forward for a gain of nine. He's put on a lot of weight since he came to Tuscaloosa three years ago. Tarrant Lynch right up the middle. Again, that's an effective play. Why not? David Palmer in motion. It's the reverse to the deuce. The first time we've seen that tonight. And he squirms forward for a gain of possibly eight yards. The offensive line. There's Toby Shields, Stevenson, Roosevelt, Patterson, and Buskey. Barker, four out of nine on the day. Uh-oh, make it four out of ten, and that was nearly a pick. The balls on the 20, or actually the field goal attempt, will be from the 29, so it's a 39-yard attempt for Michael Proctor, who's one out of two. Make it two out of three. Four minutes and 20 seconds. Winding down. Again, that's Chance Miller going nowhere. Straight back. Again, that play fake. Pressured a bit now. Almost intercepted. Good coverage. Rod McDowell back there for Tulane and a host of other defenders. Really, no one was open that time. There you see the time. Closing in on 45 seconds and counting. And again, another handoff to Joey Perry, who finds a little bit of room. First down to Lane. Okay, the clock stops. 10-yard gain. Mitch Tinsley, the center, has done a nice job blocking on that run right up the middle, which Tulane seems to be doing quite a bit. Meadows with a pump fake. Looking for Urson. He jumps up, and it's intercepted, I believe. Or did he catch it? No, it's a reception for Urson. Will Urson, the crowd on their feet. The rollout, Curry. Oh, it's uh, fake. Oh, my gosh. Abramowitz scores a touchdown. Everybody was looking at the quarterback, and Abramowitz, the guard, picks up the ball on the ground and goes in for the score. The official is back on the 22-yard lines. They may be bringing it back. I'm not sure what they did. Buddy Tevens. Boy, is he a little bit excited or what? 
Nope, they did not allow it, I guess. So they'll kick the field goal. Gary Butler, a confusing moment here. Whistle's now blowing. Butler I connects think the, the clock field goal. had already run out, Doug, before they even got it off. They didn't have any timeouts left, and I believe the clock had run down to double zeros before they got the kickoff. We'll wait and see what the officials say. A lot of confusion among the officials here. You can hear the fans. They aren't real pleased about it either. Time expires. If you're Buddy Tevens, there you see Buddy Tevens. you got to be upset if you're Buddy Tevens. Big I, break. I tell you, the referee now has no microphone. So the 50,000 here in the Dome, a bit confused. That was a very bizarre finish to the first half. Gene Stallings and the offensive coaches are telling them they need to put some points on the board. Barker, 4 out of 12 for 49 yards. He was sacked twice with a negative 13. Derek Lassen breaks free. One man to beat. Oh, he almost broke it. Mike Stay, number 15. The second straight week he's gone over the century mark. That was a 17-yard run. Ball on 37. Pitch back to Lassick. Martin Houston, a great block as Lassick goes forward for another first down. Martin Houston really leveled a couple of players over there. If they want to just, that allows them to use up the clock and put points on the board. Second down and seven. Martin Houston, another gaping hole over the right side. John Stevenson and others. Mike stayed again with a tackle. Barker. Prince Wembley on the catch, but he'll be short of the first down. That's Willie Smith, our friend from Mobile. From the 18. 28-yard attempt by Michael Proctor. Jeff Wall does a good job of getting the snap down in place, and it's connected rather well by Proctor. Under nine minutes to go, third quarter, third down and four. The Greenway trying to convert. Eric Curry jumps. Flags down. Intercepted Chris Donlin. It's going to come back, though. Yep, Eric Curry. Meadows straight back. He has time. Looking deep for Urson, who was open momentarily. Did he pull it away again? No, interception. Alabama, Willie Gaston on the pick. Number 22. And makes the interception. Alabama escapes trouble again. Jay Barker complete to Tarrant Lynch for a first down flag on the play. Nope. Clip Flipping. on Alabama. A fumble or an interception, and Tulane is in business. Barker back to pass. Again, same play, looking deep. That time they get the flag. Curtis Brown was the receiver. Same play, different result. The Tide with a big penalty. A lot of these folks probably thought by this time this game would be well out of hand, but Tulane is doing an excellent job. Double reverse to David Palmer. The deuce. Tries to break free, a juke move, and is it Mike State again? Mike State and Brandon Hamilton again on the saving play. It's hard to tackle David Palmer. He makes a lot of folks miss. Almost a forgotten man tonight, David Palmer. Sherman Williams around the left side, big haul. Breaks a tackle, and again, there's number 15, Mike State. How many times has he saved a touchdown? But there's a fumble on the play, and it looks like Tulane. You're right. Let's come up with it. I tell you. Sherman Williams' head buried in the turf. All sorts of people were scrambling for the football, and Tulane comes up with it. Second down and 10. 6.06 on the clock. Ball on the 21. Slow developing draw play. Terrence Strickland goes nowhere. Second down and 10. The tie. 27-point favorites over Tulane. They lead 9-0. Four minutes to play, third quarter. Barker. Pulls it back and runs with it. Looking for that first down mark, and he slams into the defender. Third down, a short one. First down, Alabama. They're now 5 out of 12 in third down conversions. Barker keeps it himself. The Tide in control of this game seemingly because of the defense. Impregnable. 
The offense, well, we'll see if they can produce. David Palmer on the fake. Lassick keeps it. High stepping it. Takes a lick himself, but keeps on ticking. Cedric Anderson. I think that young man is hearing it in his head right now. Derek Lassick, hurt leg and all, goes forward for a first down and a few more. Good shot there, Jay Parker. Derek Lassick breaks the tackle and will go in for six. The Taj, first touchdown of the night. Derek Lassick, the man of the hour. 40 seconds and counting to play in the third quarter. First down, Tulane, and more. Jerry Erson. Again, Meadows getting a lot of time to go back, and he's finding a receiver doing a fine job. Several times, Alabama has been playing a lot of youngsters late in the fourth quarter. Reverse by Erson. Will he pass the ball? You better believe it. Intercepted by Chris Donnelly at the 27. He returns it up around the 40, turns the corner, and steps out of bounds. Chris Donnelly did a good job staying in position. Give Tulane secondary credit. They've done a good job. And that one's batted up in the air. Flag on the play. Here's the numbers on Sean Meadows, the junior college transfer. Moves around kind of like Bernie Kozar. Kind of throws like it. Same motion, but not the same result. Intercepted George Teague. Another pick for the tied secondary. I'm not sure whether they want me to know, but I'd like to know. 12-23, third down and six. 173 yards on the ground for Lassen. Screen pass to Chris Anderson. And he scampers forward for a first down and more. Down to the 31-yard line, Brandon Hamilton finally. The offense has been three downs and out for Tulane. And here comes the fake reverse. Derek Lassick, high stepping it again. Finding a haul, still not brought down. Is anybody going to bring him down? It looks like he grabbed his face mask, so tack on five more for the inadvertent face mask. Eleven and a half minutes as Chris Anderson goes around the right side. Cedric Anderson tackles Chris Anderson, the Anderson boys. Well, Alabama in with two tight ends now. Craig Harris on the wing. Chris Anderson. Touchdown, Alabama, Chris Anderson. Craig Harris made a great block from his wingback position. Gene Stallings will even up his career mark tonight. 51 wins, 51 losses, one tie. He'll go to 24-6 and six while at Alabama, and that's a terrific start. Chance Miller. Brought down, and that was George Teague who got up quickly. Damon Jeffries finished him off. Maurice Belser in for Alabama at right guard. Johnny Howard in at left tackle. Sherman Williams over the right side. Getting close to the first down, running behind Belser, Maurice Belser, 64. The defensive line for Alabama's got to be, if not the best, one of the best in the country. When you have Curry and Gregory and John Copeland, they just don't get much better than that. Pat did fake in the rollout. Put it to Tarrant Lynch. He did that last week against South Carolina. And Tarrant Lynch is going to try to score six. Will he get caught by Stade? Yes, he does. Mike Stade, again, a lot of yardage on the ground for the Tide. They're going in for another score. Sherman Williams, high stepping it, looking like Gale Sayers again. Oh, and look at that wiggle. Baby. <laughs> what was that all about? 4.19 on the clock, third and four, another try, third down conversion. And Meadows completes it, and they get a first down. Steve Ballard on the reception as we go to Scott Hunter. They're ranked sixth in the country now, and surely will move up as Tennessee moves down after their upset loss. There's, there's your man, Victor Lockett, number 99. He's got a huge set of shoulder pads there. It makes him look just like the incredible Hulk. Third down and 22. <laughs> Meadows gets sacked. Damian Jeffries. Both Derek Thomas and Cornelius Bennett said that Mike Dubos made them in to the kind of football players that they've turned into. Bergdorf on the rollout. David Palmer with the reception. John Smoltz against Doug Drabeck, of course, 
I'm not sure whether either pitcher is still in the game. Chris Anderson finds room to run, and it looks like he's going to break free for a touchdown. He has one man to beat, and he has a block right in front of him. Chris Anderson will go in for the touchdown. Just like last week against South Carolina, he breaks free against a weary defense late in the game. When you're up 37-0, 6-0, you can afford to do that, right? And the final tick of this ball game goes off the clock. And the local ROTC guys let the cannon blow. And that wraps up Alabama's sixth victory of the season. You see the smoke from the cannon. You see the players come onto the field. Gene Stallings talking to Buddy Tevens. And I think uh, Gene Stallings impressed by the way this Tulane bunch really fought hard. The defensive unit on the field almost the entire second half. The final, Alabama 37, Tulane 0. Alabama came here and accomplished exactly what they set out to do. Win and head to Knoxville undefeated. They've done it as we go to Scott Hunter.